Oh, hey. Hey. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. Welcome to therapy. Okay, I am uh, Dr. Stevens and you are... George. George, right. Let me make a note of that. Uh, so what can I do you for? You know, I've been having some uh, relationship issues. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wife or husband? Girlfriend? Girlfriend. Boyfriend? Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Okay. Girlfriend. Sometimes it feels like she doesn't know that I exist. Okay. Doesn't know you exist. If you look deep within, do you, is it perhaps something you might have done to her or maybe something in her in her past that makes her feel this way towards you so there's this weird thing so she kind of was separated from her family at a young age and um she is i don't know, it's weird to say it, but i think she's an orphan Yes, no, 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 she, her father is still alive. Okay, good. Uh, but, um, I think, again, this is really weird. I think she might have a thing for her brother that she, like, reconnected with. After Ew. Sorry, wait, sorry. <laughs> you suspect that she has a thing for her brother. Uh, brothers? Is that what you said? Or, or no. Multiple? She... Well, she found out recently that she has a twin brother. Okay, a twin brother. Yes. This is, we're getting layers. Does she have a thing for the twin brother? Yes, her, her only brother, yeah. Uh, would you say she's very narcissistic? Wouldn't it be incestual? Uh. Oh, you mean like she's into herself. Like she sees herself in her brother. Well, that's what that means, right? Narcissistic? Narcissistic? That, I think I, I misunderstood because she's right. definitely incestual. It's putting a real hamper in the relationship, you know, because, you know, I yeah. like her. And she's like. Well, granted. She's so in love with her brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't want to, like, you know, admit that, but. So they, they have kissed once, but they. She didn't know that. Are you gonna write that down? Yep. She didn't know that she was related to, to to this guy. Yeah. Um, but they. They reconnected with their father. Okay. And then they found out after the fact that they were in fact related. Um. So that's ah, the situation. I see. So she didn't kiss him like. Kissing her brother. I can see that in a classic romance movie. That type of scenario, I could, I can see that in a real classic romance movie. It's a real, it's a good story. It's a good story, but reality often is not the best for stories. It can get messy, get messy real fast. Oh, it's quite messy. But I mean, I messy. I like her a lot, like so her. I'm trying to, you know, look past it. Mm -hmm. What is her name? So that way I can report it to the authorities. <laughs> Wait, sorry, no. <laughs> This is also my first time being a therapist. Yeah, you're my first. Yeah, you are. Um, see, a little more backstory. Be well, a little more backstory about me is uh, actually I passed the bar. Passed the bar. Yeah, I passed the bar. Like on the way to work, you passed by a bar. No, and no, you no. Stopped at no, the bar you stupid, you, silly George. You no. got drunk and came here. No, I was I I was a lawyer. I passed the bar exam. Yeah, I was a lawyer. Uh, but I remembered back to a time when I was a kid that I was bullied. Yeah. Five kids, very diverse group. All ages, all heights, all ethnicities. And how did that make you feel? All the genders, too. They beat me up. Yeah, let me, I'll write that down. No, 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 thank you. This, this diverse, all ethnic, all gender group uh, beat me up. All of them? All of them. They beat me up. Though, I will say, you call someone gabagool, you have a gabagool. <laughs> so after all these years, after all this time, I remember back to that moment and I decided I actually wanted to be a therapist because I wanted to figure out why those specific kids 
those specific kids, just those ones, I want to know, understand why they beat me up. And I figured I could find that answer through therapy, therapizing other people. So four years, her name's Princess. Is she hot? Hell yeah. You, you won't call her a bag of gobbledygook, I'll tell you that. Oh, I wouldn't? No. Okay. No. Okay. Nice. Nice. Good for you. Good for you. So. And her brother, I guess. Yeah. I could see how you would see the same in him. Four of them being twins. That's not what I meant. From my understanding. Yes. You are attracted to both of them? N no. No? Okay. Um, right. Yeah, I'm straight. Doesn't love the incestual couple. No, that's not my favorite. You know, it's a public thing at this point, so everyone kind of like knows about it. Okay. You know. <clears throat> Cause you you've made up with your you know like, if it's not you don't <laughs> <laughs> like you wouldn't if you were in that situation right. Oh, if I was your girlfriend and I made out with my brother. Yes. I suppose I wouldn't want people to Yeah, know about you, you that. just it's not cool. No. No, it's very like like if I was at a sleepover, I wouldn't say it as a fun quirky story to like try to get extra cool points or friendships. No, and like with the other gals. Yeah, are we paying for the hour? Just I don't know. I I believe did you talk to Sherry at front desk? You know, I'm here because I am having trouble moving on from it because it's, it's kind of, I don't know. What do you think? Is, you, am I, am I overreacting? Uh, so how about we try a little exercise? <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we are going to both close our eyes in a moment. We are both going to close our eyes and we're going to be looking at each other, but with our eyes closed. Okay. Do you understand? This, this exercise will do, hopefully, it'll clear up any secrets, any, any confusion on the matter. Do you understand? Right. Okay. I love doing this. I haven't gotten to do this before. So, <clears throat> we will close our eyes on three. One, two, three. George. Me. What do you want? Picture princess. Do you God. see her? Very much. I see her too. I wish you wouldn't. Now let's take a deep breath. <sighs> princess. Let's do it one more time. <sighs> princess. One more time. Good. Good. Now open your eyes. <laughs> uh-huh. Do you feel more comfortable with me, George? Mm. I feel like we could be just a couple bros hanging out. Maybe maybe perhaps we get some drinks after this. Yeah, I, I think I'm uh, just to I'm, hang out. I'm kinda busy. I got uh Sherry 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 will hang out with us. Her and I we go to the pubs. That, that, that wasn't a factor, I okay. think. Um that's fine. I'm, uh, I have a uh, have stuff to do. Right. No. We'll get. Let's get back to this. George. Do you take pills? I used to. Okay. What kind of pills did you take, George? Mm. Back, like I said, back in college, I was a lawyer. Did all the cool stuff, man. All I've been the cool there. Stuff. I've been there, seen there, done that. Be honest with me. Be frank. Well. Your name's George, but be frank. It is. Okay, that, that was a funny joke. Um, so I used to. Thank you. So on top of the Molly, I would also take. Uh, medication for schizophrenia. Mm. But I stopped needing it. No, no doubt. What's up? That's good. What's up, dog? So you don't see people, as you know, and you don't. Uh, what were your symptoms? You know, um, you see, uh, you were saying, 
You you said something. George, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see your girlfriend this morning? Did you see Princess this morning? When was the last time you saw a Princess? When was the last conversation you had with Princess? Well, um, she was, uh, she had a fight with her son, mm -hmm. uh, Ben. Your girlfriend has a son. I did not know that. Yeah. Adopted? You? Her? No, she, she was with someone bef before oh, okay. me and before. Yeah. It's very uh, commendable of you to take on another person's, I guess the impolite term is bastard son. I suppose that's what he would be called by society. I call him Ben. Um, you said you passed the bar exam. Yes, I did. To be a lawyer. Yes, Dr. Stevens passed that bar exam perfectly. Okay, wh where did you go to school? To call it lawyer school. Lawyer school yeah, for lawyers. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I, you yeah, know, of course, lawyers go to lawyers. Yeah, that's where. But uh, where'd you go? Do, you wouldn't want to go to scuba school. No, no, we, nah, no, definitely not want to go to scuba school. Right. Where? What was the name of said lawyer school? It was school for lawyers. That's the name. Um. SFL. School for lawyers. So. Let me ask you, George, uh, did you ever take the bar exam? I didn't think so. So you were a lawyer, mm -hmm. and then how, when did you make that switch? After I passed the bar. That story I was telling you. I discovered within myself that in order to figure out why those kids did what they did to me, I would find the answer through others. How, how old were you when this happened with the, the kids? The very ethnically diverse kids, which is an important detail, apparently. How, how old are you when these ethnically diverse kids beat you? The diverse attack squad? The... <laughs> okay. So how old were you when the... Attack di squad of diversity? Yeah, if that's what... Okay. How... When did that happen? Well, the attack squad of diversity uh, incident was, I was about 10. Okay. It also happened again when I was 15. Same exact people. And, but, okay, so that was like an increment of five years. Yes. The same people. Yeah. Were they also 10 and 15 at the time, or were they like adults? No, they were the same age. Yeah. Okay. The but, squad of diversity yeah. would attack whenever they see fit after the first incident okay. anytime after that it was whenever they chose okay so so this has happened twice or more than that it's happened it's happened a little more than twice okay um so george okay your girlfriend right yeah <clears throat> Your girlfriend was canoodling with her twin brother. Yes. Are you jealous, George? Yes. That's just why I'm here. That is why you are here. Are you racist? Are you, are you a racist asshole? Is that why the diverse squad attacked you? I didn't say anything <laughs> to provoke their attacks, George. So jealousy, that's one. What about little bitch boy? You know, that's not a word I would use for myself. I suspect not. <laughs> My advice to you is be a narwhal. Be like a narwhal. They have pointiness at the tip of their head. Anything that gets in their way, they stab and get right through it. Anything. Anything. Be a narwhal. That's my advice to you. Do you tell everyone to be a narwhal? Not yet. But I guess I am your first person. Do you tell Sherry to be a narwhal? I plan on telling everyone to be a narwhal. Just very fascinated by them. Mm.
I'm sure you are. They're very fascinating creatures, and they they dilute me every day. They di- dilute you every day? Yeah. I've never seen one up close. Anytime I, I step outside my front door, they're just nowhere near me. No. Nope. Never have the chance. Yeah. And they usually like to hang out in the water. I know. Oh. I know where novels hang out. Yeah, you did go to school. You know, the very prestigious. Yeah, schools for novels. Mm-hmm. SFN. What the fuck was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, George, I've been looking at my notes, and... I'm a little confused by your relationship. Uh, so I have to ask, is Princess a real person? Her, her first name is Princess, and her last name is um, Leia. When you got your ass kicked by the diverse attack squad, how? The agents of diversity. The, yes, those guys. You want to know about the agents of diversity? It, yeah, that's why I asked. Mm about the, the agents of diversity. Why? You work for them? Well, you know, it's not every day that someone tells you, I, I've never heard about this organization before today. Mm. And... Who put you up to this? This is my first patient. They, they thought it would be funny to mess with me. When I'm trying to figure out and understand why they've been doing it all these years. And... and, and this, 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 Sure.